In this video, I want to show you how to install the Afori Word extension and how to use it. So how to install it, you can see that I already have it installed right here where it has Afori here, and this is just in Word on Web. And so if you go into your home tab on a blank document, there's this add-ins here, and that's essentially what this new extension is. It's an add-in. So if I click down, you can see my add-ins are right here, but I can just search for Afori. It'll come up here and it will have a little add button next to it if you need to add it in. And then once you add it in, it should be good to go. And so it's going to add in this Afori tab here. And you can see there's three things within here. There's go to the Afori site and this will open. You can see the pop-up is blocked, but if I allow, it will open up Afri and it'll allow you to log in and all of that. You can launch the site extension and that's the main way to use this. And so this brings over kind of a mini Afri reference manager and the research assistant within Word. And then there's a help center for if you need access to documentation to get access to that. So what we can do is once we're in here, there's a few different ways to use this. So for one way is we have the research assistant built in and we have it where it's synced with our documents. So if I want to sync it with a specific library, let's say I want to sync it with my powerlifting library. Oh, let me uncheck my other one. I'm going to sync it with that library and I can start asking questions. Let's say I'm writing a paper about powerlifting. And so I asked what are the benefits of powerlifting and I can get the information right in here. I can always expand this window if I want to be able to see it a little bit more and be able to see my different things. So I can visit file and I can cite file directly from within here. So if I was saying something like powerlifting is important for strength and muscular development, and then I can go ahead and click this and click cite file, and it's gonna drop that citation in there. I'm just gonna add a space there, and then I can put a period. So right now I have this on APA. So now I have my sentence that I can get very quickly from the information that's within here. Now I can go within my references and within my references, you can see filters here. So I can actually go ahead and click the specific folder I'm working with, which is really nice because you can look at it while you're doing what you're doing. So I'm gonna switch it to this powerlifting folder. So let's say I have a, another citation I want to do, and I know my citations this time. I'm going to say powerlifting can increase an athlete's power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select multiple. Let's say there's three different ones that I want to include there. And then I can click place in cursor position. So I can put my cursor in the right place. I'm going to put a space there and place in cursor position. And then I can come outside of it and put a period there. So that ends this. Now let's say I want to remove one of these. If I click within here, you can see I have the ability to come in and remove one of these. So I can just exit this one out and save, and it allows me to change this. And if I need to, if there's an issue with the way that it's bringing in, I can always come in here again, bring it up and do a manual overwrite. So let's say this should just say Aquino instead of both of them. And so I can do an overwrite there and it'll do a manual overwrite of that. And so once I'm done writing, I can bring in my bibliography. So I'm going to click on this and click insert bibliography. And then since I have it in APA format, I would then go and highlight it and go under home and go ahead and get my line spacing to two so that it's double spaced. So I'm going to write that and then I'm just going to insert that citation in and you can see my um, bibliography automatically updates. Now what I would do is I wouldn't go in and make it double space till I'm completely done writing my paper and then I would do that. You have to do that with basically any reference manager. So like Zotero or even EndNote, you have to go in and, and kind of fix the overall formatting of it once you're done with it. You can also search within your references. So if I search specifically for fatigue, you can see I get three different ones that have fatigue in here, and then I can add those in as well. And these probably have fatigue within the abstracts or within notes or something like that. And so I could add those in and search specifically to the ones I want. The last thing you can do is change the citation style. So if you come under the three things here, you can go to your citation settings, and this is where you can change your citation style. And they have a lot of different styles already built in. So like MLA is there, Chicago's there, 
So you can see if I switch to Chicago style, you can see it's changing to the different ones that it needs to be here. If you are interested in using Afri, I will leave a discount code here if you're interested in using a paid plan of them, and I will leave a link in the description below. If you're looking at writing a research article, I recommend checking out my scientific research paper checklist. That link will also be available in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.